Princess Anne and King Charles III may have royal titles, but they've proved that they still have time for sibling antics. In a new BBC documentary titled Charles III, The Coronation Year, viewers were given a behind-the-scenes look at Charles's first year as Britain's new monarch after his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth II, died last September. In one specific clip that was posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, the family was returning from the coronation on May 6 when and walked into a room with Charles. Hello, old bean, she jokingly said to her older brother. Charles responded by laughing and then kissing her hand. After the clip was posted, people took to the comments section to joke about the interaction. HRH princess and is just cool. She has a way of her own, and it's very committed and apparent in all she does. Elegance to boot, and a dry wit that keeps it real, one person commented. Love how close they are, another person wrote. I keep watching this over and over, a third commenter pointed out. It's so lovely to see. Real brother and sister have a close and fun relationship. A fourth comment agreed, writing. They're so affectionate and have such fun together. It's truly heartwarming and so wonderful to catch a glimpse behind the scenes. In addition to the nickname the Princess Royal has for her brother, she also was featured giving a rare comment about Camilla's reign as queen. Princess Anne has, for the first time, spoken about Camilla's relationship with the throne, praising her sister-in-law's understanding of the role as the nation's queen despite not being a natural fit for it. The Princess Royal, 73, said, I've known, Camilla, a long time off and on. Her understanding of the role and how much difference it makes to the king has been absolutely outstanding. This role is not something that she'd be a natural for but she does it really well. She provides that change of speed and tone, that's equally important, and added. Charles met Camilla Parker Bowles in 1970 at a polo match, after being introduced by Anne. When she met Britain's future king, Camilla famously remarked, My great-grandmother was the mistress of your great-great-grandfather. I feel we have something in common. At the time, and was romantically linked to British military officer Andrew Parker Bowles, Camilla's future husband, who the now queen married in a Roman Catholic ceremony in 1973. Charles would go on to marry Diana, Princess of Wales, in July 1981. Five years later, his relationship with ex-girlfriend Camilla was reignited, eventually leading to Charles and Diana announcing their separation in 1992. Charles and Camilla announced their engagement in February 2005 before tying the knot at Windsor Guildhall on April 8, 2005, 35 years after their first meeting. Elsewhere in the new documentary, Charles III, The Coronation Year, Camilla's sister Annabel Elliot described the king and queen as yin and yang, meaning two opposite parts of one complementary whole. Elliot, who was one of Camilla's two ladies in attendance at the coronation in May, reportedly said the king and queen are polar opposites, but their relationship works brilliantly because they add value to each other's lives in different ways. She said, Camilla, is his rock, and I can't actually emphasize that enough. She's somebody who is completely loyal and she isn't somebody who has huge highs and lows. Meanwhile, Charles's interest and knowledge in a wide variety of subjects has enriched Camilla's life, Elliot added. They are yin and yang, really. They really are polar opposites. But I think it works brilliantly.